Hello, hello everybody. And <laughs> so there's been, I've seen lots of stuff going on around social media. There's even a big seller of shrimp who has some kind of chart out there that has wrong information listed. And there's all kinds of crazy conspiracy theories and whatnot. Trying to talk about what makes a Bloody Mary shrimp. Some people think they're just cherry shrimp with different shades of red, different color backstripe or not backstripe. But I, at the risk of going too far down the shrimp rabbit hole, <laughs> I'm going to talk about the differences and what makes a Bloody Mary shrimp different from a fire red cherry typical shrimp. These guys are special. They're not just a different shade of red. And there are two main differences that I'm going to talk about, then I'll explain a little bit with the shrimp genetics. So, the first thing, let's see if we can get if I can get up close without it getting too blurry. One of the things is Bloody Marys tend to have a longer rostrum which is this guy his nose right there they have longer rostrums they tend to and even though this shrimp but the main characteristic is even though this shrimp is really really dark you can if you look real close you can kind of see the insides a little bit. The thing with Bloody Marys is the underneath their shell is clear. Their exoskeleton shell is clear. And underneath that they have red flesh. So depending on the coloration and the light compared to a regular cherry or a fire red shrimp you can see they almost appear to be glowing especially the ones that are a little bit lighter like that like this big female here or that big female here like you can see through it a little bit but it's the red flesh it's kind of like clear coat on a red sports car I guess you could call it that is what makes them special is that they look like that's what makes them awesome they look like they're glowing that is the biggest most important difference and then I'm going to show you that they come from all Neocaridinia are just cherry shrimp mind you all Neocaridinia will interbreed readily so we're not talking about different species we're talking about lineages if that makes any sense so every line has its own lineage each line has a starting point and then from that the color has been bred from that color the color has been bred from that color these guys are on the side that comes from chocolates and blues and black roses and that kind that's what these guys come from the other side of the neo caradania family tree is the yellows and the oranges and the green jades so and then looking at these we'll next we'll go and compare them to my fire reds So this is my fire red tank. Reds, whatever you want to call them, I officially call them secure grade because some of the males are 
quite high enough quality. So I call I call them Sakuras. But most of the females are fire red or painted fire red. If you look at them with these guys, the darker the better. These guys have a red shell. The darker they are, the better they are. And we talked about that rostrum, the nose thing. You can see the Bloody Mary's rostrum is significantly more pronounced. And you don't see through these guys like you do the Bloody Marys. These guys, while awesome, I mean, many people prefer the, these kind because they just want the darker colors. That guy had like a, well, he's just, that's a girl. Thought that was a mold issue with the leg coming off, but no. Nah. So this would be like a fire rat's cure grade shrimp right here. And she looks pretty good. She's got red legs, not perfect, but it'd be a lower end fire red. This female here. And it doesn't have the same glow look to it. So I'll show you this family tree that I've been talking about. The, there's a chart. It's pretty much accepted. It's I mean I mean these kind of charts and graphs are only as good. Look at the substrate moving underneath it. It's the Malaysian trumpet snails. Are only as good as the people that make it, but it's the same chart that I've seen since I've been in the shrimp hobby. So it's been around a long time and it's accepted. So that's what I'm going to go by. I'm going to show you guys that. Talk about that. And then I'll close out the video. Okay, so what you see here is the Neocaridinia family tree. And if you look at the bottom left corner, it'll say W means wild, MP means Neo Caridinia palmata and ND means Neo Caridinia davidi. And that is davidi is what most all all your cherry shrimp, all your Neo Caridinia are. The palmata side over here on the left are that's what snowballs are. They're part of that family. So they will still interbreed. They'll all still interbreed, but what you see here when I talk about they're completely different lineages so right there in the middle where it says ND you see wild cherry and then that from that has derived Sakura Red and from that is derived Fire Red and then they just keep refining the colors more and more and more to get the higher quality cherry shrimp and then if you look all the way over to the right, Neo Caradina Davidii, it comes, it's from a wild Bloody Mary. And you have the wild Shinoko, which is, it's just a chocolate wild dark colored shrimp. And from that you have the chocolates, the blue diamonds, the blue dreams. And then if you see what, the Shoko is in there too, which is just a really dark shrimp. But then I can attest to the validity of this green jades over here on the left side, the just left middle. Now I've had yellow shrimp that have thrown shrimp that look green, and I've had orange shrimp throw shrimp that look green. And I also have green jades. And from the green jade, that's why when you see a lot of green jades with the yellow on their back, they're coming from the yellow neons or the yellow golden back. 
So that's where that comes from though. So the, the yellows, oranges, and greens are all close related. And then you then the Bloody Marys, they're more with the blues and the chocolates on that side of the family tree, if that makes any sense. So if, you, if I'm not explaining it real good, you can pause it and kind of look at it real close and you can follow the genetic histories of all these different kinds of neocaridinias so that's that and so now as you can see compared to the fire reds now you can see how they're definitely different the only similarity between fire reds and reds and bloody marys are that they appear to be red in color and they're both neocaridinia so i mean they're like i said we're going pretty far down the shrimp rabbit hole here but i see a lot of people putting out wrong information and i, I gotta be honest i didn't know I didn't know the difference. I didn't even know the difference when I got my Bloody Mary shrimp. I've had these guys a couple of years and since figured it out. <laughs> but I didn't know. That's always kind of one of the mysteries. I feel like once you start getting pretty deep down the shrimp rabbit hole, what is the difference? And so this is this is what I took made this video about to explain the difference. And if you look, that first of all, the nose is a little bit longer, that rostrum thing I was talking about. But the biggest, biggest, most, biggest thing is the clear shell. And it's, like I said earlier, it's more like a sports car. A red sports car with that clear coat, making it just making the paint pop well this makes the red flesh underneath pop makes it look like it's glowing and that's what makes these guys so special and then i showed you how they have completely different lineages the scientific part of it yeah, there's a call how they have completely different lineages on the neocaridinia family tree they these guys come from the browns, which the browns and blues, and these guys are on the one side. The reds, the regular reds and the, are right in the middle, and then on the other side, you have the yellows and the oranges and the greens. So, and then they all, they all intertwine together eventually <laughs> at the bottom, mostly, but Hopefully that cleared up a confusing issue for people keeping shrimp, even people who aren't really all that new. It took me a few years to figure it out. And most people really don't care that much to figure it out. But if you're trying to figure that out and you're wondering the difference, I made this video for you. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye.